Good morning, everyone. My name is Mighty Stream. I'm going to do your October the 7th spiritual principle a day in a meditation for you. The title of the meditation for today, Harmony, Alignment, and Balance. When our bodies, minds, and spirits are in harmony, our lives show the difference. We are able to live in balance. Living Clean, Chapter 3, A Spiritual Journey. Addicts arrive in or return to in a with our lives in turmoil and out of balance. Our health is in the toilet. Mentally, we are all over the map. Spiritually, we are in a blackout. Though we may not all be at the same degrees of chaos, no one bounds happily through the door of their first NA meeting or our first one after a relapse, feeling stable and whole. We stagger or slink or settle in. We come to Narcotics Anonymous after a brush with the law and sometimes while incarcerated. We're pushed in by family or rehab or dragged in by an NA member we used to get high with or stayed clean with. There's some truth in the familiar wise crack. We are some sick puppies. Since our journeys in recovery most often begin with the elimination of substances, our health often improves first. Our minds dip back into friendly territory, though the visits may not be as long as we like. Through attending meetings, working steps, and building relationships with other members, we begin to awake, awaken spiritually. Not all of us label it that way, or maybe we don't have words for it, but something inside of us is shifting. Outside of us, our behavior is definitely shifting. By taking commitments, showing up for others, acting right, we stay clean. Whether we believe this is the work of a loving higher power or we're doing it because our sponsor told us to, because it's spiritual, our inner chaos lessens and our outward stability increases. The lights come on and they aren't so easily extinguished by the wind and rain that keep coming at us because that's life. I will take stock today of how I am physically, mentally, and spiritually. What can I do to establish some balance and spark some harmony? Let's take a moment of silence followed by the We Version of Serenity Prayer. Moment of silence now, please. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Just for today, Please and thank you. How powerful is that? Talking about harmony and alignment and balance and realizing that when we're talking about a spiritual journey, when our bodies, minds, and spirits are in harmony, our whole lives are different. And it shows. I was just sharing in the Just for Today that a lot of times people pass over the spiritual part of it, right? Right. They're not interested in a higher power or power greater than themselves, which sometimes can be uh, just another recovering individual, right? They're not interested in any parts of that because they're still fellowshipping the word spirit or spiritual with religious. And because of that, they steer away from that. But what they don't understand or don't see sometimes is how a person's life can show proof that they are their own higher power. They are their own God. It's not about God's will. You know, we talk about that all the time. 
in our symbol, right? It's not about that at all. It's about their own will. And it shows. It shows that the body is clean, right? The mind is clean. They're not using, but their spirit is somehow still dirty, right? And, and because of that, that's where we get that saying, right? Sharing clean and living dirty, right? So for me, what it takes is a daily routine, a daily maintenance. It, part of part of doing this is part of that, right? I get to have, you know, I get to have a share every morning on two meditations and I get to figure out where I'm at, how centered I am or how uncentered I am. I get a, I get a good grip for that after I'm done with this, right? The last meditation I did, I was thinking, man, I should have spent so much time at the end talking about the difference and being able to see the difference in a person that has a higher power and a person that doesn't. Should I have spent that much time talking about that? You know what I realized? It seemed like it was perfect because it's exactly where this meditation picked up at. When our bodies, minds, and spirits are in harmony, our lives show the difference. We are able to live in balance. It's that difference that I left off on right? The difference of having a life that is in harmony versus a life that is not in harmony. It is evident to everyone around. It is evident because I will act and say and do things that will let you know I am out of bounds. Even if I'm upset, I have a way of sharing that is in harmony with spiritual principles, and there's a way I can share that is not in harm. And a lot of times it's easy to go out into the world and say and do all the right things, but a lot of times who you really are is what you do in a house that you live in and the people that you live with. How, how clean are you treating them, right? And when I look at my relationship. The people in my house, my relationship with them can spark me in different directions that the people out there can never do. But if I can't apply my spiritual principles and be in harmony, mind, body, and spirit in my home, I don't stand a chance out there. And that's why we always have family meetings. That's why we're always grouped together in the same room and talking and They'll come in and lay across my bed and my husband, he really doesn't, he's not well in that sense. So he doesn't really leave the bedroom too often, right? So the gathering room isn't the living room. The gathering room is our bedroom, right? And I have an easy boy chair that I sit in for my back issues and they'll curl up on the bed and we'll just be having the greatest conversation. How was your day? Okay, and then the person starts talking and then the next person tells them how, how they feel about what they said. And we're just having like beautiful time conversating and making sure everyone's doing okay. That's how we do it in this home. And when someone has said something or done something that was hurtful, they get called on it. You don't get to walk away being mean. What was that all about? We do it with my husband. They do it with me. We do it with the boys. We all have a checking system within our home because having the balance, that harmony. And I don't, I don't want to love everybody. I don't want to love all y'all out there. I, I don't even know how many subscribers now, 367 or so. I don't want to be all, you know, cozy with everyone out there and going to work and doing all this break, recovering stuff, and then come home and no one can stand me because I'm mean <laughs> as a mama grizzly bear. No, that's not how that works. I apply it at home too, right? Keeping that balance, maintenance every day. So that's my check, right? I'm taking stock of my day today. 
physically, mentally, and spiritually. I'm in balance. I'm in harmony today. But it's early. It's early yet. I want for you to do the same. That's what this is about. That, that is what this is about. Getting ourselves into harmony so that we can continue this momentum of forward, upward movement and recovery. Yep, you hit a rut. It happens to everybody. I hit a rut in school. I cannot believe. Let me tell you something. The last day of my class, I could not believe she let us out a little bit early. Wasn't early enough, but never mind all that. She let us out a little bit early. And I ran into my bedroom where my husband was and flopped on the bed. I threw my head into his chest and curled up with him and just, just, I let this biggest sigh of relief go. And I told him, oh, I'm so happy. Immediately, the pressure was released as soon as she ended the last class. And my disposition changed instantly. Right? I don't want to say it changed instantly, but I just was so grateful that he's been by my side during this hard, hard pursuit of this degree. Right? Yeah. So it's a big deal. I'll be walking on October 21st at 10 30 in the morning. If you're interested in the link to watch me graduate, let me know down below in the comments and I'll share it with you. Otherwise, we're done with this meditation for today. I hope that you have a beautiful day on purpose. <laughs>